Hi my dear FOSTube friends, this is Needle Ninja, welcome to my channel. Many of you requested a Stitch With Me video, so I hope you can enjoy this one too, so let's go for it and let's stitch with me. So today we will be stitching on a Heaven and Earth Design a Fire Opal by Chris Ortega. And most of you know, but I will, well it was long time ago, so I will tell you about this project. Uh, I'm stitching this one on a 28, uh, 25 count DMC white fabric. And I started to stitch on this project from a uh, center. I started her face and after that I moved my Q snaps and now um, I start to stitch from the right corner. And this is the first time for me. On this project, I was using many uh, different kind of uh, parking. First, I start a cross country. That was her face done with it, uh, um, with the cross country. And then I change it to the snake, snake method, which I didn't like so much because uh, this pattern calls for like uh, waves of colors. So uh, 20 by 10 block parking was uh, suited me better, but now I missed my snake method, so I changed it to the snake method. And this, I, I showed you in the last video, this part I stitched in a 20 by 10 block, and then I changed it to the snake method. So yeah, and I like it now. And because we can do whatever we like to do, maybe you can see if I move my camera, I'm just stitching in a 20 rows like this. There's no meaning about these steps. It's just like when I get tired of these colors, I will move here. So why not? Well, today stitching will be, we will start a new 20 stitches, the new part here. And for you who are, who know how my snake method works, this will be not a new information, but for you who doesn't know that, maybe you can learn something new and maybe you can enjoy this way of parking too. So basically what you see now is my park thread, which I parked from, well, I think from somewhere around here. So I think these are the dark colors. So when this line, dark line end, there was no more of it here, so I park my thread here. But basically, we will be starting um, on a on with this this color, which on my pattern keeper is color number three eight five seven. So let's not waste any time. Oh, now I see that there is in a pattern keeper there is a yellow line or orange line on my screen which means it's uh, the, uh, the end of the page so I'm actually finishing one page here so I would like to do what I would like to do is mark the same uh, red line like is there so it's five stitches one two three four five stitches here and because I'm really a girl who needs to have a grit so and more lines not more lines but yeah yeah you can say more lines makes me even more safer so I will just grit this page and let's see let's move oh no okay we're not in a move mode so where is the another line oh it's exactly where my oh this is the so here we can make another line so now I have like many line lines which will not let me make a mistake or I hope so well it doesn't work that way but yeah stay in in inside of the lines and Let's have fun. So I'm threading my needle. I'm not using a needle threader. I just squish the thread around the eye of the needle and I push it through. And that's 
that's a perfect way for me how to thread the needle. So I hope my well my hand will not be or it will be so should I move my camera like like this or what should I do? How will you see better? So let's start. Can we go? Can we do that? So I will start with uh, this first stitch and now I don't see my stitches. So I'm doing the half stitch, only half stitch. And now you can see the, uh, so I'm working with every uh, row number one, three, what is it? Even, even is a two. I'm really always confused with this even and odd. Odd numbers are one, three, right? Am I right? So, oh, sorry. Every first, third, fifth, seventh row, I'm working from uh, left to right. And every even row, two, four, six, eight, I'm working from this side. So it makes this snake kind of parking. And I'm also parking in the same uh, order so you can see the next stitch the diamond is like two two holes away from the thread line so I will just stitch this one and there are three of them and on this project I'm using two strands with every color except color number three one the black one and 3371 so the dark colors I'm stitching uh, with the three strands so three now another one on the another line let's make him one nothing and this one two nothing and two stitches Let's see how many mistakes I can do, I will do today. And there is a, a stitch in here. And because there is a stitch above, I will complete him. But this next one, I will park my thread because there is not stitch above. So that's my like rule. But now I'm finding, now I will highlight, no, the, oh, now I will mark. No, no. Mm. I should make it more bigger. Yeah. I'm usually okay with seeing like uh, 20 something stitches because my fingers like, are kind of thick and I will park this one. So these are done. So let's go for another color. It's color 300. And for this project, I forgot to say, I have my all my colors. It's like 89 colors, I think. I have them in uh, in this box. So I'm ready always when I'm stitching on this pattern. So let's pick up the 300 colors, 300 and I, when I was marking this one, I also mark my symbol. Well, in I don't think I, I started with the pattern keeper on this one. I don't know. But now I'm thinking about collecting all my uh, DMC flosses and make a big, nice storage for them. So, okay. Let's find the ends. And thread the needle and let's go for a 300 so we come here we I start with a loop start on the front of the fabric that's the perfect easiest way there is I think then one on the red line and there is no more in that line, so I will move to second row, which I stitch from right to left, and there is the 
stitch here which has a stitches above so I will do him and then I go to the end of the row there is no more so the third row starts with this symbol but there are no stitches above so I will just park it so mark it as a parked and these are done done okay next one 814 So only three of them in this line. And let's go three half stitches. And now no more in this line and we start four stitches. And these guys we can make at once because the first row is already filled with the stitches I'm making a shadow so I don't know I hope you can see nicely or no I'm making a shadows so what to do how can I do this is it better third row we can continue because I like what I when I can do this we can continue because there are stitches above and I think I a little bit cut um, went over the hole so so three more And actually I can continue see so four but only three of these four stitches have a stitch above so I will do just three of them and park it here maybe it doesn't make a sense so let's park this one mark the done stitches okay so maybe it doesn't make a sense but for you but I like to always start in a new hole and yeah I like to have a, that free space there so next color is color 918 so it's this one so unbind Cut the thread. And there is a lot of stitches, so if I see this kind of many stitches in the same area, I will maybe cut my thread. Now I'm struggling because it's a little bit stuck. I will cut my thread like what is it? Like I I heard somebody say that from the tip of your fingers till the elbow. Well, yeah, it's something about like that length I would say like 40 centimeters when you bend it when you make uh, two strands of it so it's something like 20 inches not so much okay another loop start and this is the oh no I don't like when I missed my loop start because it's really this was this was kind of easy but it's really difficult to fix the loop start to find the right thread to pull so again well I'm not seeing clearly but this fabric has a nice clear holes so when I'm stitching when I don't have to do this fighting with the camera and the light Still, it's, it's kind of shot dark, right? No. So let's finish this color in this row. And in oh, one more. And in the next row. 
row there is a stitch right the first stitch so let's continue then we have park thread and right next to that one is another same symbol one nothing and one here and we are perfectly one stitch away from the line which is correct and now we can park in a third row the first stitch here mm -hmm. yes so we did the first row together let's start with our park thread three eight five seven I need my nails I need to change my nails because it's already growing it's growing like crazy once you <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> I realize my nails, nails are growing faster if I like if I use my hands like more than usual like last week or two weeks ago I was really into cooking mode and I was also doing some gardening I plant some flowers beautiful flowers next to my terrace so <laughs> I don't know if it's true, but yeah, my nail, nails are growing. And, oh, what is this? What is this park thread? Why I have two? Oh, I made a, no, a no, no, no. Oh, I, I forgot to mark. So, hey, hey, this one is also done. This is the third row. So let's mark this one, okay? We are here and let's find where we can park. So there was already a mistake. Not mistake, but I should mark my threads, no, my symbols more correctly. So we're continuing with this symbol in a third row. And we bump into a park thread, which is good, which means we're correct. And let's do one, one nothing, two, one nothing, and one. So that's how I talk to myself when I stitch. Then first row, we start from right. There is a stitch above, I will do this one. Do nothing, there is a stitch above, I will do this one. One nothing, there is a stitch above. And there is no stitch, so park it here. Park and mark. Good. Third row, start from left to right. Color number 300. So it looks like in this first 10 rows there are just these four colors, which doesn't happen so often, but mostly when you start to stitch the page or on the top of the page, there are a lot of repeated colors. Okay, so next row is one away from the black line. Let's stitch. And my <laughs> my phone just died on me. You no, know, the storage was full. So where we were, we are. We finished this. Okay. So we're going to the fourth line, and because I'm feathering a little bit on the side of the uh, grid line, so I will. In this time, when I'm when I'm feathering, which means that. Um, I don't in order to not have the straight lines in your uh, final project or after you stitched I'm making uh, like a few stitches over the grid line so in that case I will stitch it without what well, without um, worrying that there is not stitch about so here is the one and so this was a force yeah and now we can go to the fifth line, which we stitch from left to right. And this is, we 
can do this one and two behind the red line so this one is parked these are done good so the last symbol in this line is number 918 some of you ask me like why do how do I know which color I'm stitching well well that's when you use a pattern keeper in the upper right corner when you highlight any symbol that symbol and the number will show on in the upper right corner so that's why I know which is which so moving to the fourth row stitching from right to left and filling the blanks because this is the only color in this so this is kind of fun is anybody of you using this snake method if yes do you like it or is it too difficult but well I okay let's go to the other line the fifth one so it's nothing and one and there's a stitch above here one nothing that's a two one nothing and two Row. We can do this one, and there is nothing about so. Now we park here, and we did three rows of this color. Okay, what was I saying? Mm -hmm, I completely forgot. snake method it's not actually well I'm I got so used to it so this is really I think this is the most comfortable for me and I was thinking like what makes it so easy for me to stitch with this with this way it's that I always have a free hole the first hole which I'm sticking my needle from under because I'm stitching with the two hands okay let's not make a mistake this is a one ah, okay two over the red line so I don't have to struggle with the you know a lot of threads under this one are you checking it with me am I correct I think we're good nothing and still we can go and looks like this thread is getting really short so I will need to end him but not yet let's park it here here means here and we did this good so let's start with the 814 which is on the edge of the grid line and in this case let's do another feathering which I will use this color as far as it goes which means that I will do over the grid line here so four of this was actually like worrying because you, you can see that um, some of the colors or some of the stitches make the fabric under show 
but well one two three four sorry one two three four okay we're good and this is what six row seven zero okay but i told you in my last video that i finished a few of my projects and i got them framed and after seeing that well right after i washed my fabric and my projects looks like the stitches will just you know like how do you say free themselves from all the the hoops and q-snap stress and i don't know they will just relax in the water and after washing them and ironing them like it will just pop out so I don't think you should worry about that and well I don't like it when I look at it right now but I know I'm I'm telling myself like don't worry it will it will be okay so let's mark these with it here and let's move a little bit okay so there are four stitches no three so I will do that So yeah, I stopped worrying about the, the fabric showing under. And if it's still showing even after you wash it, well, this is not a painting, this is painting with a thread, so of course there is a fabri fabric under, so I think it's okay. Even give it that nice stitchery look so I think so now I'm just going wild with this color but yeah why not I will use it till I can three then two so yeah this is what I do lately it's like it's a hybrid of uh, well the snake method and cross country so once in a while I'll get this wild with it well this is already <laughs> too far I think I don't know why I'm doing this but well I want to I think I want to finish this color so Let's do these two, two more, one more, and let's, let's leave it like that. So mark these, these are done, let's see how it looks in here, well it's just a little bit more, what do you say, so I don't do this but see? This is just a little bit more so let's go for it then I don't have to start a new thread in the next 20 stitches area so let's do the chicken race and let's think about how what is the best way to use the thread so I can continue okay so this is totally and it's already like Really, 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 really. I turning. So here, come on, be good. I hate to uh, thread the needle with the, this kind of short thread, so I'm really trying. Good to lose the thread and yay oh we did it looks like so the color this color is done and now I'm sure you want to know how I will end the thread well this is the extreme case which I don't do usually so I will usually pull the thread hmm. okay what to do in this case what will be the wisest thing to do well 
let's go back to the line I'm actually working with and pull the thread here for example so I will know that this is ah, oh, this is just a little bit it's not so cool well let's pull it here okay let's pull it here and this guy so it's coming from here to here so I know that when I'm in this third grid I will be covering this thread and what I'm what I'm doing basically I used to do uh, like a leg and pull the thread out but now I'm just leaving like a I don't know just a little tail and that's it okay so we did something crazy but that's okay too sometimes so let's go back to the normal stitching no no no, 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 no. I need to see that yeah so we're in a fifth row and color number 300 So, here we go. And this is six row fifths. Six, seven is from the left. To behind the red line which we will park okay so it is fifth six row so we start from here so we done five colors of uh, five rows that's cool and let's work with the 918 a park thread which is again very cool and one on the red line that's cool too I love that red line really once I I asked uh, on a pattern keeper um, Facebook page because they sometimes like they do the updates and I was asking for a um, we can choose where to make a line where no I, I'm sure you don't know what I'm saying no I just wanted to have a line in even in that 10 times 10 block I would love to have it really right in in the middle so yeah I'm I'm still and I think I will never understand how you girls and boys can stitch without the grids that's now how my brain works I need the guidelines and the actual lines so okay this thread is really really getting short so let's do this three more because if I do more I'm definitely going to lose the thread so now it's the normal way normal time of how i will end the thread i will pull like maybe seven to eight rows under and just cut it around there and because i'm um, with my hand under the fabric i'm trying i'm not like squishing anything so i know that if i'm careful this thread, this end will be just covered with another threads as I go, so. So, okay, row number seven and the number 800, Ooh, okay, 918, so here. On a grid line 
one nothing. Am I bothering you with my counting? <laughs> Two nothing, but that's, yeah, that's what's in my head when I'm stitching. That's why I like to watch or listen something not, like if I watch some drama, I will be totally, or some show, I will be totally lost. So I'm just listening to the news or some podcast. Basically the news, I'm watching the news. Not watching, listening to. So, this one. Here and now, well, yeah, this will this will look far, but in the ninth row. Okay. No, no, that doesn't, no, just never mind continue here so it's not it was actually okay sorry okay and now we have to start a new thread three eight five seven and looks like i had a i pre-cut this or i made a mistake that i thought that i don't have it and i had it so this is cool we're fast how many stitches done? 163. That's that's kind of cool. I don't know how long I'm filming, but oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. So now this is this is the just two strands where I cannot do the loop loop start. So in this case, in this case, I will leave the tail and I will do. start like this because it's really difficult for me to make a mm, pin stitch on this fabric so this is how I start when I cannot do the loop start on this project Sometimes I'm saying hi to my park threads as I go, like, so happy to see you and so happy to actually see that you are in a correct place. <laughs> and let's go till the red line. And there is one over red line, one nothing and one. Can you follow? <laughs> I think you can see a lot of my hand today. I'm sorry. This is the part when I stitch on the top. One over I sent, yeah. So maybe if I stitch in somewhere in the middle you will see better. And the one, and there is none, so let's park it here. Okay, park, done. Okay, so yeah, now, now you see that this thread will be not covered with the uh, these threads I should do him first but well this happens it's that doesn't bother me I don't pull my thread so tight very tight and I don't keep it I don't leave it loose too much so so this this color was kind of jumpy but sometimes yeah those that happens so Let's do this 
20 by 10 blocks together let's finish it i don't know if i can if i can upload this kind of long video i'll try but if not i will say bye to you if i need to do this now and if not if it's okay we will continue till the end of the grid line hi park thread case there is no meaning of it but yeah well the meaning is that I will park this guy because I see that there are three stitches of this color and in order to have this thread covered with another stitches I will do this first so move my thread here and make the first stitch in the first row of another grid and one nothing and one park so this is how I will know that that thread will be covered so just fill the fill the line till the red till the red line and we'll be done with this hope you could enjoy this one too if you find something interesting or just I hope I just didn't annoy you with my inside brain counting <laughs> so that's how I go that's my relaxed time when I'm trying not to think about anything just it's like kind of meditation for me a lot of with so many stress in the world and in the work and well the life I'm so appreciating this craft I think it makes me s stay sane okay and this is because because we can we will just park well there is a stitch above but I don't like to dig under the threads so and let's finish this one and that's it for today so 918 beautiful well it's like what is this color terracotta no I don't know but something beautiful and let's park it like two third hole from the red line so we did a 200 no how many 215 stitches together with a little crazy like outrunning so oh no wait actually 216 now why is doesn't this, my pattern keeper is stuck okay so that was it and um, thank you for being staying and watching my stitch with me and hope to be here soon with you so bye for now Thank you. Bye.